Hi Pisces, this is Kelly from Moon Pai Tarot. So this is going to be your your love reading for the end of July, the 21st through July, <clears throat> excuse me, July 31st, 2018. This reading will be for Pisces Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. So if you guys want to get a personal reading from me, you can just click on one of the links in the description box below. And uh, if you choose to purchase a PayPal reading, just make sure that you send me an email with your um, questions, background information, whatever it is that the reason for the reading request. And also so I have an email to um, send you your reading. So it takes up to about a week. It can. It just depends on my schedule. Or, of course, you can always download the Instant Go app and get a reading from me there, which is immediate, within 24 hours. Okay, so some of the messages may or may not resonate. See if you can just pick out what will leave the rest. And um, I'm attempting to do um, a live stream chat session on Sunday. July 22nd, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you would like to join me for that, um, feel free. It's just a very casual chat. Maybe pull some cards just to get to know each other and uh, chit-chat back and forth. All right, Pisces, let's see what the energy is here. So these cards here, I don't do reversals. I will do reversals with the clarifying cards. They're starting off with the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, two Nines, Page of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Six of Cups, and the overall energy is the Hangman. So. The hangman, you know, there's an energy of just kind of like accepting a situation in your life right now um, or having to or being forced to, you know, it's self-sacrifice, but being forced to accept the way something has occurred. And during this time, you may feel like there's nothing you can do except to maybe try to take a unique view of the situation. In other words, maybe look for that silver lining in the situation. If it's in regard to a relationship or past relationship, <clears throat> it's seeing things from a different point of view, not an old way of thinking because the hanged man, you know, when he's upside down, everything looks different when we're hanging upside down. It's still the same, but slightly different. We recognize and we know, we know what things are, you know. We know, so if we're hanging from a tree, we're looking at a building, we know that that's a building, but it's upside down. So <clears throat> it's almost like magical thinking or, um, thinking of the impossible, looking at things from such a different view of a way you've never thought about a situation. Oh, the Knight of Cups, <clears throat> excuse me. And this could also be another person in your life. <clears throat> excuse me, as soon as I start talking, I'm coughing. This could be another person in your life who's beginning to see things differently now. Um, I feel like I don't know what's going on. Um, so if you hear a buzzing noise, just, you know, be forewarned if you have your headphones in. 
So I feel like um, this page of pentacles here, there could be news coming in for you or some type of a love offer from someone who um, perhaps has reconsidered a situation or reconsidered a relationship or is looking at things from a, from a, a new perspective. It's also, you know, the Nine of Cups here, you have all this cup energy. This is a something you may have been waiting for, a wish or something you've been hoping to hear about. And the Nine of Pentacles here, you've been perhaps just focused on your work, single, taking care of your, <clears throat> your pets, your cat, <laughs> your birds, if you have birds, taking care of your your swans and your geese, you know, making sure that money growing on trees here for you, for some of you. And you haven't been tempted by anything. You've just been standing on your own and focusing on yourself, taking care of your, your family, your home life, your beauty, your hygiene. Um, <clears throat> feeling in abundance. You have you know, everything you need. You have food, shelter. You have things and people around you that bring you comfort. But there's this wish for love that you've been wanting or that you've been waiting for. And I feel like you're going to get it. Somebody's coming in for you. It could be another water sign. Doesn't have to be. Um, this is not for me the knight in shining armor. The knight in swords would be the knight in shining armor. But the knight of cups is someone who um, it's kind of like a prince charming romantic makes a proposal even if you're single or if, for some of you there there is a reunion with someone i will tell you that there was a um a feeling of loss or regret there, some of you may have felt abandoned by someone but i'm seeing that somebody's coming back and there could be a message Maybe they want to take you out, go on a date, um, spend a little money on you, or, you know, it's news. But it's, it's you know, it's very practical news. It's something that you can trust because it's, it's a pentacle. It's tangible. It's real. You can feel it. You can touch it. You, it's solid, you know. So definitely communication about overcoming something, overcoming some obstacles, some troubles. There's a new idea. Mental clarity. You, I feel like, Pisces, you have, or at least will be, gaining mental clarity about a situation, absolutely, and perhaps about someone returning from your past. If this is someone new, then some of you may be reminiscing about a past loss or a past breakup, uh, but not necessarily reminiscing in a good way. I mean, thinking back about how you felt hurt and how you feel ready now to move forward with someone new. Nine of Cups partnership, um, two of wands over the Nine of Cups. So this, there is a sense of, um, there, there could be a choice that needs to be made. Maybe you're on the precipice of letting go of a past relationship and now someone new comes in. <clears throat> you're still partially grieving that loss, but there's a new offer. And this is reminiscent of a, of a wish come true for you. So I, I kind of feel like you uh, will have a choice that you need to make. <clears throat>
could be gifts. Someone may bring you a gift. You know, it's it's innocent. It's it's real. It's innocent. It's truthful. It could be an apology. Some of you are getting an apology from someone. That desire to overcome these conflicts, which caused you perhaps to stay or be single, which is my Nine of Pentacles card is usually the Bachelor card, Bachelor, Bachelorette, whichever. So there is an offer for sure. Now here's the Knight of Swords. So this is going to be your Knight in Shining Armor and your Prince Charming. And, and if you're a male listening, it's the same. It's just, let's not be gender, um, uh, gender focused. Yeah, I feel like some of you have uh, someone who's coming. This might have been a long distance relationship for some of you. And um, someone is coming to see you. They're bringing a message. They're bringing good news. They're, they want to see you. They want to apologize and want to try to make a relationship work or make a partnership work. Or make a relationship work. So, again, reunion, reconciliation. This break, this, this Five of Cups energy, um, <clears throat> that you have been grieving the loss. I almost feel like for those of you who have someone from your past who did that to you, um, they're going to come in and fix this. This, because this tower card is a sudden change. It's just something where it up it's upheaval so being in this this grief or this loss you'll be just you'll be just propelled out of this i just, i really feel strongly that someone's coming in to apologize to tell you that they're sorry they made a mistake and of course even though this is something that you may want to hear you still have to weigh your options you still have to make a decision about, you know, what are the results? I mean, some of you have been waiting to hear from this person. I know um, you've been, you know, getting to that point where maybe you were, have been accepting the fact that, you know, this is the, how can I get closure from an apology I never received? And then boom, you know, you've, some of you had accepted the fact that this was done and tried to turn the other cheek and just try to see the what did you learn from this relationship? What, what did, um, how did you grow from it to be better for the next? And then it's almost as if as soon as you let that energy go and, and just accept that it's done and you can't do anything about it, then uh, love comes in. Now, for some of you who don't have someone coming back from the past, this is just letting go here, finally, and someone new coming in who wants to give to you. So, uh, Tower card could be Scorpio. Then I was saying Cancer, another Pisces. Could be an air sign with the Knight of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, so for those of you who don't have someone new coming back, and this is someone new coming in, either way, um, that's what, with the Three of Swords here, what, and remember I was saying, thinking about the past or reminiscing in the past, not necessarily in a good way, um, just thinking about that heartbreak or that heartache from someone um, Some of you, so 
some of you are um, dealing with a heart issue where there could be surgery involved and um, you have either one or two people coming in here to help you. And this is not romantic. This is, but this is loving support. Helping you overcome things, you know. Um, but I also feel like here too, with the two of wands, this is making that decision to you for the relationship aspect of the reading, making that decision, well, do I just focus on staying single and not dating? Or do I accept a love offer that will make my wishes come true? So I feel like, you know, um, you're not 100% sure because there's there was pain involved in your past with someone else or with this person coming in. Now, some of you have two separate people <laughs> coming in. You might have someone from the past coming back who hurt you. And someone new at the same time. And that could be the decision. You know, which direction do you want to go? So the death card is here. Whoever this um, water sign person is, it's definitely changed. Or even if it's not a water sign, whoever, whoever's coming in and offering this emotional cup has changed. This could be, so death could be Scorpio. This person has realized the error of their ways. They're, they've let go of the past. This is who they used to be. Just, you know, not very nice on that white horse. And now this is who they are. Now be careful. Just be careful. I'm not seeing anything bad here. It just might take a little bit for you to believe that they've actually changed. Especially if they're coming in and offering an apology and wanting to try again. <clears throat> I mean, there might be some conflict or arguments with someone that, you know, you have been doing just fine on your own and you don't wish to go back, but you really do care for this person. You really do love them and they, they, you, and you do want that partnership with them, but you don't, you're not, you're not going to be able to know for sure if they changed. I feel like this person knows directly they're heading directly in towards you, that they know what they want. And this card can be a change in lifestyle as well. So there is a new love offer coming in here. Here's the Page of Pentacles again. And the Three of Pentacles. So this is a desire. This is someone that wants to show you. This is like a performance card for me. Um, someone wants to show you that they've changed. They've learned something. They have discovered something new. You know, because the Two of Pentacles, when we start with the Two of Pentacles, this is weighing options. This is, you know, having choices, multitasking, trying to figure out what's the best way to go. And then the Three of Pentacles goes into actually making a, a decision and um, learning something new. And I feel like you were dealing with someone from your past who maybe was weighing things. Maybe they were juggling a couple of people or something like that. And um, uh, I'm not necessarily seeing that anything, I mean, something, if, if this were in the position of the other person, it's very much so that 
you know, they have been single um, because, or at least during this time, they are single now because someone um, perhaps ended it with them. So, you know, and now they're coming back for you. But I feel that they're coming back in your direction because they truly have realized that they, I think they needed to go out and maybe sow their oats to figure it out. Which, however you feel, you know, some people are like, all right, go ahead, have at it. You'll be back. And then when you come back, then we'll finally move forward when you when you get done playing like a child in a candy store. Um, and then there's some who you're not coming back. No, you didn't value me enough. So, you know, you had your chance. Bye bye. So it's really it's your decision about how you want to handle this. Obviously, I don't need to tell you that. But I am seeing there's a potential new beginning with this person whether you're, you know, if this is someone new or um, someone returning from your past. And the name Jerry just came to me. Jerry. J-E-R-R. Jer. Something with Jer. Jeremiah. My. Michael. Maya, M Ryan, Maya, I keep hearing Maya, who is Maya, Mary, something along those lines, well, that doesn't usually happen to me, I don't usually get names coming out, but sometimes if I ride with it, it will. <laughs> Mary. Something about a birthday party. I don't know. Birthday party. I know we're going into August here. It's not your birthday, Pisces, but uh, some of you maybe are attending a birthday party with someone who's a Cancer or a Leo where this could take place. There may be a decision to travel or someone's making a decision to travel to come see you. A tower card is kind of calling out to me. Some, some of you uh, have lost your home with someone you were with there was marriage and then divorce or something like that. Um, there's regret about that. Or somebody left your home, right? I'm not predicting somebody's going to leave your home. I'm actually feeling strongly that you have someone returning or someone new coming in. And I, I feel like you know this person, this new person. There's some history with this person. Even if it's just a friend that, you know, was juggling. They got hurt. And now they realize that, you know, you were the one there for them and they want to make an exclusive love offer to you. You know, the Ace of Cups can sometimes represent a new baby or relationship, proposal, marriage, or birth. So for some of you, that might be playing a role.
And uh, some of you are looking back on the past and, you know, realizing there's no more, you, you're getting over depression of some sort. You know, this tower moment is doing that. I don't know. Some of you, maybe you um, start taking a medication and, and all of a sudden you just wake up one day and it, it's actually kicked in and it's working. And then your your ability to see things from a unique perspective begin to happen as well, you know, because you're no longer looking through dark glasses. Now it's like those rose colored glasses are starting. Um, everything becomes just more beautiful in your life and the depression lifts. Even if this has something to do with the surgery that helps with that, whichever, however it could be. Some of you are having weight loss surgery. Or something to do with the heart. Something that affects the heart, either emotionally or physically. And it's going to change your life for the better. So let's see what the messages are from the romance angels. So children here. Your love life is being affected by children. It's interesting. I was picking up, some of you have a childhood friend or someone that you have known from childhood or someone that you were attached to romantically, perhaps in your youth. It doesn't have to be childhood, but it could be, you know, your youth early 20s, whichever, however long ago, someone from your past, that there was a connection there for a very long time that for some reason is just still very difficult to let go. And this person has that for you as well. There's still love there. Okay. And, um, Some of you are connected to someone also by children, your own and the, yours and theirs together. You both have children and others of you. <clears throat> and this could weigh heavily on the decision about whether to return to someone or whether to go back uh, that needs to be made. The children in a relationship of some sort could have affected this relationship. You may have had been involved with someone that had children and they went back to their the mother of their child or the father of their child and um this had this so it's it's almost saying to consider that if if you're taking someone back or if you're getting involved with someone that has children consider this because they there is heavy influence And it's also advising that whoever the person is that you might be getting involved with, you may have the opportunity to feel that love again like as children do. Sweet, innocent, playful, fun. You know, and if that's something that was needed in a relationship, well, here, this is... You know, when it says your love life is being affected by children, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's being affected in a negative way. It could be affected in a beautiful way, you know. So maybe you and the other person need to, you know, I don't know, go to an amusement park or um, go play games on the beach or spend time enjoying each other and some competitive play. You know, go climb some trees together. I don't know, whatever you used to do as children, go jump in a bouncy house. <laughs> something fun and that could be that unique that unique view you know like wow you know we were always so serious we were always just or or someone else was always so serious and you wanted to have fun and now they're like what you're right or vice versa you know okay pisces i'm gonna end your reading there i hope that you enjoyed that reading 
I feel like it was the best one. It wasn't too heavy, wasn't too deep, just kind of playful. And um, so again, if you guys want to connect with me, click one of the links in the description box below. Um, and you can also connect with me on the Instant Go app if you have the iPhone. With that, you can just text me, chat with me, call me immediately. I'll, I'll, I'm right there. And if you have pressing questions or definitely check out the live stream on Sunday, if you can make it July 22nd, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay. And I will see you guys in August. All right. Take care. Bye.